And welcome back to our Madison Studios. Joined now by MassinSports.com, Steve Molesky, who covers the minor leagues on a regular basis, does a very good job. And Steve, let's talk a little bit about the race for the minor league pitcher of the year. Give us some contenders and maybe even a pick. <laughs> They've got we got a lot of good contenders, Tom. I mean, this has really been a good year for pitching on the farm, as you know. The star-studded rotation at Bowie. But let's start at Delmarva with the first guy who's really in the hunt for this. And uh, he's just had an incredible year from start to finish. Grayson Rodriguez, uh, the numbers tell you all you need to know there. The strikeout rate is impressive. He's improved his changeup this year. His last start, Tom, five no-hit innings. He touched 99. That was the season high. So uh, the, the, you know, they've handled him beautifully. This year, Zach Lowther, he knows all about this award. He was a co-winner last year. He moved up to double A. The numbers are really strong there. He'd been incredibly consistent for Bowie, a 12-game winner. One of his uh, teammates has won this award before, Alex Wells, in 2017, when he was with the Shorebirds. And he might be one of the real surprises of the year because we know his velocity is not great. Uh, but would it play at higher levels? And look at how it's played at double-A this year. 21 walks all year. We know he could command the ball. And Michael Bauman threw a no-hitter a couple weeks ago. He's probably the Oriole pitcher whose prospect status has risen the most within this season. And so he moved up to double-A, 11 strikeouts per nine. I mean, that's a great list of four, Tom. There are others who could even factor in. I mean, Gray Fenter's a pitcher. He's got a 188 ERA at Delmarva. Hardly anybody talks about him. Bruce Zimmerman moved up to AAA. I mean, I'm going to give a slight lean to Grayson uh, for this award right now, but we still got about three weeks to go, so things can change. And there could be a co-win like last year, there too. There could be, yeah. Uh, the possibility. Yeah. Now, look, the minor league pitchers are not giving up a lot of home runs. Is there one reason why overall? And, you know, I think they've just done a great job keeping the ball in the park. And it's really impressive to see because at a time when the Oriole uh, Major League team, as we know, is giving up an, an extraordinary amount of home runs. Look at this on the farm, how little the ball is flying out of the park. I mean, this is impressive. Single digits. This is for the year now. Grayson Rodriguez, three home runs. D.L. Hall, three. Wells, six. Michael Bauman's given up two home runs in 98 innings. Now, none of these guys have made it to AAA where it's the same baseball as the majors, and it's flying out of parks all over AAA. The offensive numbers have exploded this year at AAA with the Major League ball. But they can only pitch with the ball you give them, right? And they're keeping the ball in the park. And, Tom, that might bode well for the future of Oriole baseball. Steve, let's go back to the uh, no-hitter in Aberdeen the other night. What stood out most to you? Uh, you know, it's a really impressive night for those three kids, and there were a couple of really solid defensive plays that helped save this thing. Uh, one was uh, Andrew Doshbach, the first baseman. He made a great play at first base on a hard liner. And the shortstop, uh, Joseph Ortiz, one of the draft picks from this year, he made a play up the middle. They say he started, you know, sort of in the usual shortstop spot, ranged all the way up the middle to the right side of second, was on the outfield grass when he fielded it, made a tough throw, and got him. So a couple of standout plays, Jake Lyons, James Ryan, Carl, uh, Kyle Martin, the first no-hitter for Aberdeen. They've been playing since 2002. This was the first one and the second by an Oriole team this year. Obviously, Bauman got one also. A 7 to nothing win in Vermont in that no-hitter. Now, Steve, let's talk a little bit about the four minor league teams look like they're going to make the playoffs, right? Four have a shot. One is in, Delmarva's in because they won the first first half in the South Atlantic League and three others have a shot. Here's the here's the rundown now. Bowie for as good a record as they have in the second half of the Eastern League and it's 35 and 17. Erie is two games better. So Bowie is not in the playoffs even playing so well. Now, Bowie was last in the playoffs in 2017. They last won it in 2015. Delmarva's going to the playoffs for the first time since 2005. Last night, Tom, they won their 80th game. There are four teams in the majors and minors combined with 80 wins, and Delmarva is one of them. They're playoff bound. Aberdeen's trying to get in. A real strong year for the Ironbirds. They're six games over. They're also two out in the wild card, so they have a shot there. The Gulf Coast League Orioles have one of the best records in short season baseball, 26 and 13. Their pitching staff is really strong, so they have a shot. They're in first right now. So uh, one is in, potential for four. 
The last time the Oral Minor Leagues won championships, you got to go back to 2011. Frederick, that was with uh, Jonathan Scope and Manny Machado. They had a great run in the playoffs. 2015, Bowie won the Eastern League. You had Mancini on that team. You had uh, Yastrzemski, David Hess, Cisco, Garibaz Rosa, some others did a great job. So uh, the Orioles would like to add to that this year. How about the Gulf Coast Orioles in Aberdeen? They're mostly the players that were just recently drafted this year, right? Which is great. It's yeah. great to see them playing so well and doing so well because you're right. Those are 20. 19 uh, draft picks for the most part there are some other players there but both those teams are either in first or contending for first and and a lot of pitchers are doing well and as we know tom they didn't draft a lot of pitchers high this year in the 2019 draft but uh, they're doing really well adley rutschman starting to hit at aberdeen so uh, some things are looking up on the farm and uh, it's really interesting oriole fans because it's kind of been a tough season in major leagues we know uh, on my blog and fans I interact with on radio and on Twitter, they are really into the minors. They're following it more than ever. Uh, they know the names of the guys. They know the records of the team. So uh, Birdland has uh, caught on to what's happening in the minors. Always great information from Steve Molesky. Check him out at MassInSports.com.